The European Union and its member states have committed 32 billion euros in military aid to Ukraine, which includes 6.1 billion euros from the European Peace Facility for Military Equipment. In March 2024, the Council introduced a 5 billion euros Ukraine assistance fund, raising the total to 11.1 billion euros through the European Peace Facility, the EU military assistance mission for Ukraine, with a budget of 362 million euros, addresses the training needs of the Ukrainian armed forces and has trained over 47,000 Ukrainian soldiers. The European defense industry has boosted its ammunition production by 40%. There is a pressing need to expedite the delivery of missiles and ammunition, particularly under the initiative to provide 1 million rounds of artillery ammunition and to enhance Ukraine's air defense systems. But before we continue, if you're enjoying this briefing, please kindly support this channel by liking and clicking on the subscribe button below to subscribe to this channel and to help YouTube learn of your preferences and enable you receive new video updates every time they are uploaded. Thank you. Let's get going. The EU plans to further increase ammunition and missile production following the Act in Support to Ammunition Production ASAP, which will enable the defense industry to produce more efficiently by supporting industrial reinforcement throughout the EU's ammunition and missile supply chains. This response aims to urgently deliver ammunition and, if requested, missiles to Ukraine and help member states replenish their stocks through targeted measures. Sweden's government has announced its 16th and largest military support package for Ukraine since the start of Russia's invasion amounting to SEK 13.3 billion. This package introduces a new capability for Ukraine's air defense, addressing Ukraine's prioritized needs as Russia intensifies airstrikes against both military and civilian targets. Sweden will supply Ukraine with airborne surveillance and control aircraft, ASC 890, bolstering air defense capabilities against airborne and maritime threats. The package also includes a comprehensive solution with training, technical equipment, and support for air surveillance and command and control. To further enhance Ukraine's air defense, the package will provide advanced medium-range air-to-air missiles, RB-99 AMRAM, adapted for ground-based systems. Additionally, Sweden will donate 155mm artillery shells and its entire stock of PBV-302 armored tracked personnel carriers, including spare parts and maintenance equipment, to support new Ukrainian brigades. This donation will temporarily reduce Sweden's defense capability, which will be mitigated by procuring new equipment. Moreover, the support package includes financial support, satellite communications, maintenance resources, tank vehicles, and research initiatives. The Swedish Defense Research Agency will assist Ukraine in establishing its own defense research institute, and Ukraine's command and control capabilities will be strengthened with terminals and subscriptions for satellite communications. Germany has stated it would arrest Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu if the International Criminal Court ICC, issues a warrant for his arrest. This follows a statement by German Chancellor Olaf Scholz's spokesman, Stefan Hebstreit, affirming Germany's commitment to international law. The ICC prosecutor, Karim Khan, announced he is seeking arrest warrants for Netanyahu, Defense Minister Yov Gallant, and three Hamas leaders for alleged war crimes and crimes against humanity. Israel, which does not recognize the ICC's jurisdiction, has condemned the move as an unprecedented anti-Semitic act. Netanyahu warned that the warrants would constitute a hate crime, while Israeli officials urged the international community to disregard such warrants if issued. Germany emphasized its respect for the ICC's independence but noted the complexity and potential jurisdictional issues involved in the case. In summary, the EU and its member states have provided substantial military and financial support to Ukraine, with increased production of ammunition and advanced military equipment to address urgent needs. Sweden has significantly contributed to Ukraine's air defense and overall military capability through a comprehensive support package. Concurrently, Germany's stance on potential ICC warrants against Israeli leaders highlights ongoing international legal and diplomatic tensions. That's where we wrap things up for the time being. Thanks for watching.